So I'm here with uh, Shamik from Cap Gemini. Uh, Shamik, you were uh, talking here this morning uh, at the summit, and you covered a broad range of really uh, interesting topics, but one of them uh, really critical to all operators, in fact, every company in the industry, and not just in open RAN, is energy efficiency. But what's going on in terms of developing uh, capabilities and apps and platforms that can help monitor and reduce uh, energy consumption in open RAN networks? Thanks, Ray. I think uh, the fact that the radio network is one of the biggest energy consumer in the mobile network cannot really be left out in any kind of innovation project. And Open RAN being an innovation project, so naturally sustainability is a key area to focus on. Uh, what Open RAN actually brings in is a huge amount of data that comes in from the radio network. And today we can access uh, that data. And using that data, we could possibly optimize the network to a certain extent. Uh, for example, detecting sleeping cells, sh using shutting down carriers, which are not in use. Uh, and we can do that proactively today uh, using that data collected from Open RAN. So Open RAN actually gives us that platform to do it differently. Uh, so, and, and that's what in Capgemini we have started the project BOSS, which is actually about creating data-driven, uh, sustainable energy efficiency apps development. But we also understand two things. One, sustainability innovation is happening outside the telecom industry. So how can we actually bring in some of the best practices from other industry to telecom? That's one. Uh, the second is that no one company can build an uh, energy efficiency app. There will be many ideas coming in on how to you know, optimize the network better. So the, the focus is on creating an ecosystem, a platform where different application companies can come in and build their energy efficiency app on top of it. Now, that is a great idea, but it has a challenge. The challenge is that would application companies actually understand Open RAN? Is it easy to utilize? Where do they get test beds? So that's where I14Y and labs are so important, where companies who are innovating in energy efficiency gets a working test bed so that they can leverage that to create some of their applications that they're working on. Okay. So lowering the barrier of entry, I think, is critical uh, for energy efficiencies. We cannot expect everything to come out from the telecom community alone. And that's what we are focused on in part of the project boss. Okay. So are you bringing what you've developed at Cat Gemini and bringing that to the lab here, having it installed and then yeah, that's the, that's the larger, larger uh, idea. I mean, that's the larger goal is that we have to test with many kinds of network. So network, different kinds of network equipment providers, we will have to test it with different kind of, kind of cloud providers and platform providers, different kinds of radio units, different kinds of baseband. So unless such labs exist, it's hard to build a generic, fit it all kind of a energy efficiency app. And that's not possible, let's face it. So the major idea is to create an ecosystem where we have tested a certain energy efficiency. Then try and replicate this with another ecosystem, maybe with a different set of partners. And that's how perhaps we can proliferate the whole idea of energy efficiency more and more across the, uh, across the um, uh, telecom community. Okay. And do you get the sense from the operator community that this is something that they want the open RAN sector to be focusing on? Oh yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Whichever operator we talk to, we find this in one of their top priorities. Uh, obviously, the stability of Open RAN is very important, the maturity of the Open RAN, opening up the interfaces, doing interoperability is very important. But while we are doing that, keeping in mind that can we optimize energy at every level of testing, I think is critical. It cannot be an afterthought and then you bring an application and then try to redo everything. So what we are trying to evangelize is that while we are testing, let's also take this as an opportunity to do something on sustainability. And I think it's, it's showing results. And many operators have shown a lot of interest on, on how Open RAN can change their RAN um, energy efficiency aspects. End of the day, RAN is a major part of their, of their investments. And it's, for the first time, it is being virtualized in a way. I mean, it might be controversial, but yes, I mean, roughly the first time it is being virtualized. So it's also a great moment for us to also look at the sustainability aspects as well. Energy efficiency, by design. From energy efficiency by design. 
So we always talk about security by design, yeah. and maybe it's time to actually bring in energy efficiency by design when we design RUs and baseband, right? So that's that's how it should be going forward. Okay, excellent. Shami, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Ray. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much.